Hello everyone, my name is jcork93 and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to run two programs with just a one click or one click of a button. And here's my example, it's right here, put it on the desktop just for to show you sake and I'll open uh, this little box up temporarily. This will close once the two things are opened but for the example's sake I've made it open up Firefox and Minecraft. I'm just going to minimize that. Minecraft's going to pop up now. And this will close once everything's fully loaded. But I'm not going to wait for it to do that because there's no necessary need. The reason I did this though is because I was found, I discovered that I was always using two programs at the same time. And it was just taking five seconds extra to open up and I'm lazy. And over time that's ten seconds every two times. I, I don't know how long every year but it's it just saves a bit of time for a tiny bit of effort. But how you want to do this? You want to open up Notepad. It's a plain text editor. It's a really useful thing. But here's the text that I used to create that little uh, test or tutorial or example. Right here you can see there's four lines of text. What it says is CD, which means change directory. And this is direct the directory I want it to go to. This is where my program is located. It's really simple. This changes it to change it, and this is basically run the file, then change it again. You don't have to have two, you can have more doing this, you can have one if you don't like. But this is all shortcuts too. They they're just graphical versions of this, it's quite simple. But what you don't do is you want to find your program or where it's located. So for this I'm probably going to use Notepad and Sticky Pad. I'm going to click Open File Location. And you can see here that this is the application right here. If you're having this uh, view, you'll see right next to the name, I'll have the name of the application, I'll have like a little symbol probably of what you're used to and then it'll have application next to it. The best thing to do for this is go right click on it, go on properties and this is the location of the program. So I want you to highlight that and then control C, control X, right click, copy paste, whatever. Just make sure it's in your clipboard and go back to your text editor. Right here you want to type in CD uh, apostrophe, whatever they're called, and then control V, get that out, and then again, and then press enter and go down to the next line. I've gone down two, you don't need to do that. And then you want to type in the name of the application, which you can see right here it's notepad lowercase and it's an E X E. So, right here, I'm going to type in note pad dot e x e and that's the line it's really simple there's not much else to it I'm going to go right here and click save as now this is really important you don't want to muck this up right here in the save as option you want to right uh, click on this go down to all files and then you want to type in the name of the application, the file, and then make sure again that's on all files. And having dot bat after the name. This is the extension. This will make sure it's saved as a batch file, which is slightly different to a thing. So we now that's saved. It's test two. We close that. We can get this out of the way because we don't need it. And here is our little button. And if we click that just to test it out, you'll open this up and Notepad is open straight away. Now to edit it again, just right click and go into Edit. And um, I can do this and make it add two or three. And it doesn't matter as long as there's a uh, one line in between each one of them. It doesn't matter how close they are, just for presentation's sake, it's better. And once you've done this, you don't need to go and save as anymore. You just control S or just save it. If I click on this now, this will open three notepads. One, 
or it should do. There we go. Two. Three. Apparently it only puts it on once it's closed, the other one's closed. But as you can see it works perfectly fine and you can do that with another program. So that's how you get two programs to open up at once. Uh, I was also wondering which... if you have two programs merged, any two programs in the world, it could be really old, it could be new, uh, which two programs would you have combined? Uh, leave your answers in the comments and please rate this video. Out.